Thanks for listening to the talk. Um, I've got two challenges for you this week. Challenge number one. Remember when I said at a wedding that whenever you make promises you give and you receive a ring as a symbol, a reminder of the promise that you made? Well, God gave us a symbol as a reminder of his promise to you. You'll have seen it in the sky lots of times and you might even have one in your window at the minute. Have you worked out what I'm talking about yet? That's right, a rainbow. Sometimes it looks a bit like this, the ones you have in your window. Well, a rainbow is a symbol of a promise that God gave to Noah when he promised that he wouldn't destroy the whole world again. You can read about this story in Genesis chapters 8 and 9. Now, I think it's really cool that so many people have rainbows in their windows at the moment. Because when I see them, they remind me that God has promised that he won't destroy the whole world again. Not with a flood and not with the coronavirus. It's a reminder that he's still in complete control, even when the world seems totally out of control. So what I'd like you to do is either to use the rainbow that you've already got, or to paint or draw a new one. And on it, I want you to write some of the promises that you'll find about God in the Bible. Try and include the Bible references too, because these are helpful for you to remember. Now, if you aren't sure about the promises or what they are, either ask your grown-up to help you or do a quick search on the internet. If you type into your search engine, God's Promises Bible, you'll find loads of results. If you scroll down beneath this video, I have included some promises with some Bible reference, just references just to get you started. Now, you're not going to have enough space on your rainbow to write down all the promises because there are so many. But it's really good to remind ourselves of all the wonderful things that, has prom that God has promised. And it's really good to know that he will always keep them. Challenge number two is something that I'd like you to speak to your grown-up about. Now, the reason I want you to speak to your grown-up about this one is because we need something called accountability. Now, that's a big, big word, but what it means is that you and I need someone other than us, other than ourselves, to ask if we've done something or not done something, and if we haven't done it, to ask why not. Every day this week, in the morning, I want you to pray to God. You can either do that on your own or with your grown-up. And I want you to ask God to help you that day to realise when you've made a promise and to help you to try to keep that promise. At the end of the day, I want you to chat with your grown-up about whether or not you've kept any of the promises that you've made. Maybe you could get your grown-ups involved in this one too as a challenge for them. Now remember, not all promises start with the words, I promise. Promises are when you say you're going to do something or not do something. That's a type of promise and that's something you have to try to keep. It's really hard to keep your promises. This is just to try to help you realise that we do make promises every day. We find them hard to keep, but that we can ask God to help us to keep our promises and to be trustworthy. I really look forward to seeing your, your um, rainbows with all your promises on them. It's up to you whether you want to feed back about keeping your promises or not, but I think it's more important that you do that one with your grown-up. Enjoy. Have a good week. Bye.